kind of kind of fits in the song. It could really well done, but that's why I think that's why I'm chuckling because it's a good tune. But it kind of makes me laugh at the same time, but laugh in a good way. Yeah. Um, you think you know what's going to be coming out of this band, and then they they do something completely different. They are so versatile, and they've got a little something for everyone, and they do it all really well. Um, yeah, <laughs> I liked it a lot. Yeah, it was a very interesting groove. Much, much. Well done. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's the best way to put it because yeah, three songs and three completely different <laughs> genres yeah. of music. So, you know, yeah. you're expecting the one thing, it's like, wow, this is a complete hmm, okay, you you probably year now I'm interested, where are you going with this, you know? Exactly. So yeah, it was a really cool year and it was a that was my exact first thought with it's like, huh. <laughs> so it was Same band. Yeah, exactly. Very very pleased to hear something different. So uh unfortunately that's all i have so i'm like really really curious to see what they come up with next because like i'm i want to see where they're gonna go yeah and it's all good so next up this band is called bleak they're not on twitter i can find them on facebook i'm pretty sure but they're on soundcloud as well and uh this is off uh their new album uh it will ep called the drinking song and the song is called ebb and flow <laughs> that was a bleak ebb and flow i really enjoyed this tune and uh, i love the harmonies that, that that made the tune for me for sure i loved this tune also and it's 
so different from so many of the things we've been hearing lately. Um, I love the opening scale. It has sort of, um, to be a little bit technical, sort of an augmented tonality to it. It's an unusual scale. Um, it's sort of folksy, bluesy, but really tra- has a traditional feel to it as well. And the vocals are really interesting. I really like them. Yeah, the, the vocals sound almost very Celtic influenced. And then on top of that, almost blues lick on the guitar is a very interesting juxtaposition. I uh, really liked it a lot. You can definitely tell blues for sure. Next up, we're going to get to a guy we heard for the first time the other week, and it was something we had never heard before. And we have a new one uh, by this band. The band is called Grass Cutter, and the song is called Stop Banging on My Door. Take this one.
All right, that was a grass cutter with stop banging on my door. Another good one because this guy's vocals are, are just uh, are, are fantastic because he can't narrow down to a certain a just type because he's got such a good flow and he's got such a good range. I love the, I love the picking in this one and it just it just it's it's an overall it's, it's such a good tune. I really really enjoyed it. I agree with all of that. Yeah, the vocals are just absolutely gripping. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. It just absolutely pulls you in. And I love I love how the instrumental supports the vocals. You know, they were really smart in how they put it together. They didn't overplay the accompaniment patterns. And so the vocals really stand out. It was really well done, really smart yeah, music making. Very, very emotional, very, like, Catherine said it really draws you in, um, captures a mood and stays there, and really does an excellent job. Right. Well, we will have one more uh, the next time you guys are on, so uh, that's a we'll be waiting for that one as well. It's a cool one as well. So next up, we're gonna get into Grim. This is a brand new one which is available on SoundCloud right now. This one's called "Keeping Two Losers." <laughs> I was Because we're not friends. 